Leo, we have a connection here where one person is entrenched in fear about coming forward and making something happen. But fear not, a win is still possible in this connection. Let's dig in to see where it goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Leo tarot reading. It is a general reading for May 9th through 15th. Let's dig in to see what we have for you guys for the theme for next week. Oh, there it is. The Velvet Queen, number 25. Reduces to a seven. Hmm. Let's see. It says a rare prize is to be bestowed upon you. The universe is confirming that the most luscious dreams of your heart are being nurtured into manifestation. To this end, you shall be given a saving grace, an intervention if needs be, to be open to receive, surrender, doubt in favor of unconditional trust. Through your trust and optimism, you make life easier for the universe to give you a most deserved gift. Okay, so this is not about being passive. This is about allowing. This is about receptivity. Okay, it's literally about changing one's consciousness about a situation. Okay, let's see what's going to go with the Velvet Queen here today. win-win outcome is forecast full moon in libra some more assurance there that trust will be worth it where are we going okay let's see what's going on with leo if the velvet queen is a person that is either you or your person this is a high value individual very high value individual. Okay. Let's see what the situation is with Leo. Ooh. Capricorn wanted to pop out there. Someone's scared to make an offer. Okay. Let's see what more we can get with that. We have the Emperor on the bottom of the deck, card of Aries, Nine of Swords, Three of Wands, King of Cups, the World, the High Priestess, or Pisces energy, Ace of Wands, Ten of Swords. Someone's freaking out. Ooh. A divine counterpart. I mean, sometimes emperor and empress, when they show up together, it simply could mean, you know, a husband and a wife. It looks like an empress here chose to leave behind her emperor. Because the ten of cups, the ten of cups was the wish and it wasn't being handed over or offered. Big on the Sag Aries energy there with the temperance emperor card. So, it took too long for this to come to surface, so she had to go. Okay, Leo, I'm going to read this side as you, this side as your person, and this is the situation. Someone is freaking out. <laughs> One or both of you is freaking out. Got the nine, ten of swords. This is a big ol' ouch. I'm seeing the Empress side as the, as this as as your side actually here. Hugh waiting. Where's the Ten of Cups? Where's my Ten of Cups? It's not here. We done. 
Okay. But there's still this... There's this possibility of reset, revive. Okay. Okay, especially with the win-win outcome forecast. It's like you did the Velvet Queen thing. You allowed the thing to come to you. And then they didn't bring the thing. So you had to end... You had to end the, th end the cycle. Very intuitive water sign. King of Cups, High Priestess, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Hmm... They knew they had to bring something forward, but they got stuck. I'm wondering about that Five of Pentacles. Perhaps it'll come out. Hmm. Okay. So we have someone that was supposed to pony up. I feel like you did the work. You, you like, led the lesson here. Like, okay. This is what I want or need for my life. This is what it's got to look like. Give it up to God. And here you're waiting for it as you're going about your business. It's not handed over. So I, I don't know if this person thought that you were going to continue to be in a connection with them. Not getting what you need. That Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't happen as often as it used to. So, okay. Nine of Swords. Let's, let's expand on the situation here with the Nine of Swords. What's being freaked out about? Okay. Ten of Cups. Pushing it away. Oi. Oi. Seven of uh, Swords. Eight of Swords. Six of Wands. Lovers. Gemini. Energy. Five of Cups. Lost it. Someone lost the love of their life. Someone lost the love of their life because they're too much in their head. Why pushing it away? There's there's literally ego and pride here. Why pushing in it? Why pushing away the Ten of Cups? Oh, almost came out. Temperance, Card of Sag, Queen of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Hangman. It would take a lot of change for this King of Cups to offer this ace of pentacles it would require a new perspective it would it would require li literally getting spiritual recalibration here that means there's some sort of perspective about connection long term that's f flawed and needs a new perspective why what's the damaging perspective here Six of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Looks like they've been cheated on before. Yeah. Looks like they've been cheated on before. Huh. Okay. And that cheating could have cost them money. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So it's not that the connection isn't real. It's not that the connection isn't there. It's very clearly there if they're freaking out about it this much. If they're freaking out about the loss of it this much. Okay. Three of Wands. Let's let's clarify Leo's side first, please. Let's start with the Three of Wands. Knight of Cups. Yeah, you you thought it was really clear that this love was supposed to come in. Queen of Swords, Knight of Cups, Three of Wands. This was, this was supposed to be this was supposed to be nothing but net. It was supposed to be a shoe in, a slam dunk. It was just, it was supposed to be just like boom. Yeah, let's yeah. It's very clear. There's something here. Let's do this. Ah, the world. <laughs> let's expand on the world, please. Star, Aquarius energy, Nine of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Empress. Yeah, there's something big on the fear of... Perhaps they had to end something with another water sign? Or they have a previous divorce on the books with a water... Yeah, look at that. Look at that. 
big on the Scorpio energy could go either way for either your person or their or their person. They this this masculine had to cut out a Queen of Cups. Okay, it was a very comfortable situation. I wasn't. I don't see love though. I, I don't. Big Scorpio energy with the Death card and the Tower. Something that was comfortable. Okay, it would take them a whole lot of strength to start a new beginning in love with someone, no matter how happy, see the sun peeking out under there, no matter how happy the connection, okay? This risk is terrifying this person. But I'm getting that the Empress and Queen of Pentacles is the same person. And the Queen of Cups is the person that they're with now or that they were with. Because it showed that divorce happened or breakup happened. Okay. Ace of Wands. What's the what's what's the new beginning or new idea here? Nine of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Judgment, Eight of Wands. Death, there they are. Hmm. There's some stuff that happened in this other connection. I'm hearing that they thought they st stayed in it so long. They thought that the stuff that was happening within it was normal and comfortable. So they hung on to it. They're getting a new perspective about that connection as well. Okay. So, <sighs> Scorpio again. Okay, so there's. Oh, we got the ace to the eight of wands. Okay. So the funny thing is, is you know this person is going to come back around. They're dragging their feet, and it's not that they're dragging their feet on purpose. It feels like, given this other connection and the ending of that, there are multiple lessons for this person to learn before their pace picks up. Okay. For whatever reason, there are compounded lessons here for this person. That can happen if you stay in a comfortable situation for too long and you don't close out cycles. Okay. Universe doesn't care. It just stacks up the list of lessons and then just hits you with it the moment that you're open. Or even when you're not. <laughs> it can make a very comfortable situation very uncomfortable in order to force the lessons. Let's expand on the King of Cups now. And congratulations, this is clearly a twin flame connection, even though it was lost. It's still a rare occurrence. Okay. King of Cups. What do we have for the King of Cups? Page of Wands. There's your Three of Wands again. So they're sending a messenger. Ooh. Gemini, Aries. Ooh, someone's leveling up. Yay, yay. Emperor, lovers. Okay. So... It looks like two things are happening here. One, they're getting curious. They're sending they're, they're sending a message, messenger, message, something. There's curiosity here. Okay. It looks like two things are happening here. That you are also building your own Ten of Pentacles, and they are watching you build your own Ten of Pentacles. The Chariot is Card of Cancer. So now they're starting to pick up the pace. They, this could be them literally traveling to come see you. Okay. One more for the chariot. Yeah. They're, okay. So they're working on their inbound. Okay. Or they could be traveling for work and stop to see you along the way. Okay. High priestess. Let's expand on the high priestess, please. Six of Wands, Six of Cups, Three of Swords, Seven of Cups. Well, that's nice. Okay, so some lessons have been learned. Okay, so this very intuitive individual, okay, they 
they're essentially working up the pride to the working up the confidence to return. All right. There's a lot of inner turmoil happening with this and confusion. It's getting cut through though, or cut down. Knight of Swords is good at that. That's coming to an end too. The world coming out for you guys again. Twice, also in the same row. Okay, so Ten of Swords. Let's expand on the Ten of Swords, please. King of Wands. Ten of Swords. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> oh, star. Oh, Aquarius. So that was meant to end. It was meant to end. You were meant to stand up for yourself. It was meant to end. Yep. You left. Queen of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Get someone, someone getting left. Yep. Okay. They think this is done, 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 which is why it's so hard for them to rouse any courage to come forward at all again. Okay. Let's, is there anything I need to look into for going to the extended? I'm really feeling the hole in the, situation up here the the big time regret and the inner rambling this person doesn't seem like the type to um ramble out loud until they boil over with carrying too much within their mind okay um so it's very much that i, I can't believe you know i lost this this was the real thing da 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 da, da. I'm hearing all, all I had to do was approach. All I had to do was approach. Okay. Let's look into his fear a little bit more before we go over to the extended. Because the extended is going to go into the present, near future, and final outcome. It's not going to go into the past. So there's that death card again. There's that Six of Cups again, and that Ace of Cups. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Show me more about the thought process this King of Cups has about our Leo and the connection that ended. That ended. Ace of Wands. They want to start again. You've got the Ace of Wands, too. Six of Cups again. Soulmate return. Queen of Wands to the King of Wands. King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Seven of Cups. High Priestess. They know they have to make the choice to bring in the Ten of Cups. They know they have to make the choice to bring in the Ten of Cups. Is there any confusion here with the Seven of Cups? Nine of Cups. Empress. Five of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. There is no confusion here. They're just hoping that you don't say no. Um, it looks like the one vantage point that they may be able to access you is at work or while you're working on something or doing something to the point that's keeping you busy where you don't see them approach. Okay. Again, it's taken a lot for this person to gather any kind of courage to come towards you because of how much they believe this is over, over. Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords. Okay. And the world twice. Alrighty, I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with your King of Cups. I'm going to look in to see what's going on with him right now in his life. I'm going to see what's going on in the near future in his life, as well as the final outcome of this connection in this lifetime. So if you guys are interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about this connection at this point in time, messages from this king of cups about this connection at this point in time as well as timing feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below and i'll see you guys over there bye Ooh.